Okay guys, so today I'm going to show you how to edit your Swift files for Skyrim so you can mod your interface and menu. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download some programs. I use uh, the Swift decompiler. If you want to use Swift, it's whatever. Uh, whichever works for you. You're going to need Fallout Mod Manager and Notepad++. Now, uh, you're going to want to go to the Skyrim folder and you're going to want to look for the interface.bsa. So open that up with Fallout Mob Manager and the first thing you're going to look for is the map menu or map.swf uh, Swift file and you're going to pull that one out. Next you're going to go up to the exported folder and you're going to look for HUD menu GFX. And here it is. And you're going to pull that one out. Now, once you've gotten that, you're going to edit the GFX file first, just so we can get them both done at the same time. All right, so, first thing you're going to do is change it to SWF, the file extension. It's going to give you an error message, just hit, yeah, sure. Now, you're going to open this with Notepad++, and since it's going to be CFX, you're going to change it to CWS. And you're going to hit Save. Now, once you've got these both changed to Swift files, or you've got this one, can open up your Swift decompiler, whichever you use, and you're going to go to, let's say, this one, the HUD menu, and there you go. There's all your icons. Now, all you have to do from this point on is pick out which one you want, or whatever you want to edit. So, let's see, let's go with, I don't know, this one. Let's edit it, and now basically from this point on, it's like messing with paint. So let's do like a grayish color for the stone, and then for the rune, we're gonna do a greenish color. And you're gonna finish the edit, save it. Yes, you want to overwrite. And there you go. Now you're going to do that for all the shapes that you want to edit. These down here are the ones that show up on the map. Or on, in this case, since it's the heads up display, these are going to show up on compass. The light ones are ones you found, and the dark ones are undiscovered locations. Everything else is, well, miscellaneous stuff. I'll let you guys mess with that. Now if you want to edit the map, or the map icons, you're going to go to map.swf and you're going to edit these in the exact same way you just did. So, now that you're done with editing the Swift files, you're going to want to go back and change this to GFX again. So, you're going to edit with Notepad++, FWS, change it to GFX, save. Now you're going to go back and change it from a Swift file to a GFX file. Hit yes. Then you're going to go to your Skyrim data folder. You're going to go to your interface folder. Drop the map file right there. Go to the exported folder, drop the HUD menu GFX folder right here. And you're done. That's all you had to do. Enjoy. If you would like to download any of my mods, uh, including the map mods, the icon mods, or whatever have you, I've added links down at the bottom. I've also added links to Fallout Mod Manager, Swift Decompiler, and Notepad++. 
And if you think this video helped, don't forget to give it a thumbs up in the corner, and feel free to post your comments below.